It's your girl, Lashana with LE Style. And today I wanted to come to you to do a, another how-to video that was requested. And today's video is gonna be on contouring, highlighting. It was gonna be like a highlighting and contouring. It's one only one. going to be applicable to how I do highlighting and contouring. Again, I will preface this by saying that it, in, it is in no way, shape, or form saying that this is the only technique or this is the only way that you have to do it. Um, also, you don't only have to use the products that I use, but this is what Lashana talked talk through video. So it's going to be a little bit longer than just two or three minutes. So I hope you do hang out with me and uh, stay with me to the end so you can see the final look. Okay, so as you can see, I've already pretty much gotten started. Um, I have my foundation on, my brows, my eyes are done. I even have my lashes on because I didn't want to take the time, the time to go through those processes. Okay, so why do you even highlight and contour? Highlighting Basically, is going to attract light. It's going to help bring out features. It's going to help you look a little bit more awake. It's going to draw in contouring detracts and what i mean by that is it minimize uh, minimizes things for instance an example would be i contour or i take the i use a cream contour and i use powder sometimes as well but i i take it around the jawline and the reason that i do that is to not only just to define and sculpt this area but to minimize like this right here, this little double chin that I have underneath here. So that would be one of the reasons that you would contour is to detract, is to minimize, but it's also to give you some definition, um, bring some dimension and depth to your face. I mean, you know, it's nothing wrong with using tools or products to assist you with bringing out and enhancing your natural. Okay, the products you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need a concealer. You're gonna need a either a creamy contour, which these two products would represent that. Need some type of highlighter which this represents that. You're gonna need some setting powder to set your concealer, translucent or banana powder. Bronzer isn't necessary, but I'm gonna use some bronzer today as well. Obviously, you're gonna need some brushes for your application. And a good old beauty blender is really like an all-in-one if you have this you're pretty much doing well to have this, which will be able to be sufficient for most of the application. So how do you choose a concealer? The rule of thumb really is to go two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. So this will, will take a little trial and error. This is a pricey product, but a good way is to maybe try on some more inexpensive brands. This right here is the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer. Is very popular. Uh, it, it works very well. Um, it's about $3.50, maybe $4 per tube. This way you can purchase maybe two or three and not bake, uh, break the bank. And to determine more so the tone um, of concealer that you would need, before you try to jump and buy a pricier one if you so choose to do so. So this one is a good All right, good. so let's go ahead and begin this highlighting. I'm gonna be using Tarte, as Some I said. Some people like to take it. You really, I mean, if you're gonna shade it in like I'm about to tell you, um, you would start right here near the corner of your tear duct and kind of do a V and shade it, shade it in all the way. Streaks like this. And I generally do three. You can do dots. Some people do dots, but I do streaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side. So those are generally the areas that you would use the concealer. Now, now some people at this point would take like the creamy contour stick and go ahead and start applying it with this still in place like this. 
I personally don't like to do that. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to do that. I like to go ahead and do step by step and address the product as I put it on my face. So I am going to be using a beauty blender today. This has been um, ran under water, all of the water extracted out of it or squeezed out of it. So it's a nice cushiony, fluffy, it's, it's still damp and that's what you pretty much want it to be. Um, and again, you can use this pretty much with every application. And I'll start here. And I'm tapping, and as I'm tapping, you're gonna see that I'm kind of rolling, and I'm gonna be looking at my mirror a little bit too, rolling uh, the Beauty Blender. Because what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get it to melt in my skin, which is what you want. That's what you want it to do. You are enhancing. You don't want product sitting on top of your face, just sitting there. And it's evident and obvious. So I'm squeezing like this as I'm getting this nose area because I'm trying to keep it pretty much where I have placed the concealer. Now, I will say for your forehead, if your forehead is big like mine, you don't need a lot of highlight up here because again, highlight attracts. <laughs> now that I have a problem with my forehead, this is the forehead that my my heavenly father gave me and I'm fine with it. But if your head is big like mine, you don't need to take the highlight way up here because it really is going to like beam a light on it. Um, so you use less if you have a big forehead. Now, if your forehead is small, you might not even need to highlight. But if it if you want to, you can use a little bit more um, if that is indeed what you want to do. Now, when you're working under these eyes, you want to get it, you kind of want to look up and I'm going to be looking in, and you're going to be make, making some ugly faces. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to be kind of rolling it my, because this is very, very manageable. I mean, I love it because you can pretty much get it in a crack or in a crevice if you need it to. So I'm kind of rolling it because I want it to stay in this pocket. And that's why you put it just right here in this general area. So, same thing. And you want to work this in, like work it in because you don't want this to start creasing because if it starts creasing, it's going to look a mess. And that's not what you want. Okay, so now we're gonna to move to the next step, which is contouring. I do like cream contour sticks. Um, actually, I'm gonna be using this one today. This is actually not a contour stick. This is a foundation stick by Juvia's Place. I think I have it in the color Narambia. Um, well, that's the name of it. You can use a foundation stick um, if you choose to do so. So this is the contouring that stick that I'm gonna be using today or what I'm going to be using today to you contour. start your contouring, you need to locate your cheekbone, which is right here. When you locate that, you need to start your contour right below that. And you don't need to bring it down here because that's just unnatural. You don't need to start down here because your your cheekbone is up here, and this is where this is what's getting highlighted in this area. So you don't want to change the structure of your face by bringing your contour down here because that's just not natural. And then for the big forehead people like me. I'm going to take it 
all the way over <laughs> my forehead. Now, I will say this. Some people would, before they do this step, I've seen it done so many ways. So there is no perfect step. You have to do what flows better for you, what works better for you. But some people at this point, or before they even got to putting on the contouring or started the contouring, they would have taken their setting have taken powder. this already and put it in all the areas where they had the concealer and they would bake. What is baking? Baking is basically putting the powder on, the setting powder on, and letting it sit on your face while you start attending to other areas on your face for however long you want it to sit there, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, I personally don't like to My bake. opinion. But if you want to bake while you're doing the rest of it, then you can well, do I'm going to do what I do. And then I'll get back to the banana powder. Generally, when I start um, blending in the product, I normally would use a blender. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Beauty Blender because the Beauty Blender, again, it, it can do just a, a good job, a phenomenal job, actually. Um, just as good as using a brush. Some people use it to put on their their foundation. I prefer a brush for foundation application. Um, but hey, you might like it better than I like it for applying foundation. So let me look at what I'm doing here. So for my nose, I prefer to use a brush um, and not so, this. So when I take the brush, I like to go up near my brow area and I'm trying to focus or concentrate it right here, right, right alongside that bone, almost on top of it. Okay, so now we're going to go um, on to the banana powder. And this is what we're gonna use to set the areas in which we concealed um, uh, when we use the concealer. So this is what it looks like in, in, in case you're unfamiliar. And for this, like to use this for this powder application, especially under my eyes. Um, or you can buy some of those really cheap old school wedges, the white ones or the cream ones that go way back. Yeah, that'll work too. Um, so normally I would just dip that in just like this. And you're gonna look up and you're just gonna apply it like that. You're gonna apply it in all the areas that you applied that concealer. So this is about the extent in which it's gonna sit on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my fluffy brush and I'm going to start removing this powder. it for the setting powder. Now, what I generally would do, I would take my finishing powder. This is my mineralized skin finish with my big fluffy brush. After I finish with that setting powder and I go over my entire face, Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer. Today I'm gonna be using, um, it's by The Balm. It's called Greg, what a name for a bronzer. 
Okay, after I put my bronzer on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush because I am a blush girl. I do like blush. Today, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I'm gonna be using the color Yara. As you can see, I like Yara a lot. Yes, I do. She's the most used uh, blush that I have in this palette, and that's because she is more of a fleshy tone. She's a more neutral tone. She goes with a lot of different looks. Okay, so the final step in our highlighting and contouring is going to be your actual highlighter. Um, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. I do use a um, my highlighter with a light. I like this brush because it stays, it, it focuses the product right in the area that I When you're putting I put. on your highlighter, again, you wanna find that bone, that cheek bone, which is right here. This is where you want to put it at. You want to apply it right in this area. And it's okay to take it up to the temple and maybe do like a little C in that area. Um, and that's where you want to apply it at. Now, don't go ham with the highlight because I've seen it. <laughs> Ooh, child. You've seen it too. It's a matter of preference, but I'm just saying. And keep it in the area that it should be in because it's a highlighter. It's not a takeover. You want to highlight the areas that you um, also concealed. So you can, a lot of people do take their fingertip um, when they highlight their nose. So you kind of want to take it and I'm kind of look at myself some on the bridge of your nose and also at the tip of your nose. Now I'm gonna go back to my, my brush where, oh, here it is. And you can apply some right here, just in this little area, just a little smidge right here on your chin, just a little smidge, because we're just highlighting. So use your finger to go right here in the cute brush well. that I use for that, because I like to do it right at the tip of my Cupid's bow. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the highlighting and contouring. I'm just going to go ahead and complete um, the rest of my look by finishing under my eyes and on my lips. And I will be back with some final thoughts. Okay, guys, so everything is, is done now. Obviously, um, we have a full face um, that is now completed, um, basically taking you through the steps of only contouring and highlighting. However, it does incorporate a full face of makeup, it's not over the top um, and just like beaming and blazing. I mean, basically when you put these products on, you don't want to look clownish. You want to look, um, you want to have a flawless look. You want to have your features naturally to be pronounced. Um, and you know, you want them to just be, um, enhanced. It's not about, uh, competing, everything competing with, but it's not so streaky with harsh lines. You know, you want it all to be gelled together, married, molded, meshed together. Um, and you don't want it competing with each other. So I do help hope that this video was helpful for you. I know it was a little bit longer. I mean, I'm sorry, unfortunately, talk through videos that you're talking and you're applying and you're explaining. So unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. But I hope you stuck with me to the end. I hope you got a lot of information and got some clarity and understanding as to why you even do these steps or add these steps into your beauty routine. Is it something that I do all the time? No, I absolutely do, absolutely do not contour and highlight all 
all the time, especially with an everyday face of makeup. But if I'm making up going the distance, then I will add it, especially if there's a special occasion, you know, you're going to be taking um, pictures or, you know, there's a certain event or what have you. Um, it shows up beautifully in photographs. So just to use to accentuate um, and, and to add to your makeup routine uh, as needed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that does my heart good. It, it just really, really brings me so much joy to be able to come on this platform to share the things that I know, not to say that I know everything, but this is what I do. Um, and I and I enjoy sharing it with you. And I am learning and growing, growing so much in the process um, with engaging with folks and, and networking with people that I never would have thought, nobody but God really, um, to, to give you a space in which you can do that, to be motivated, to be encouraged, to be inspired. I am appreciating and loving this process and this journey. If there's anything else that I can do that, like I said, I do and how I do it, I would love to share it with you. Just let me know. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I hope your day has been blessed thus far. Continue to be, be safe. blessed and God bless you. Bye.